Hi, this is Adas from Mike in Canva. Welcome to my channel. So let's talk about Canva and AI. So Canva has the wonderful magic write and text to image, but there are more wonderful things out there. And I want to show you how you can combine all of these together with Canva. And I'm talking about chat GPT and mid journey. So are you ready? Let's go. I've used chat GPT and mid journey to create this. And this. Let's see how I started. So I've opened up chat GPT in case you don't know, you know, a little bit, or, you know, a lot, just a quick recap. All you have to do is open the chat GPT. Just go to Google, type in chat GPT, and you'll enter this open AI. Click on try chat GPT. This is just one way to enter it, but there are sometimes issues that chat GPT is overloaded. So you just need to have some patience and try again. So I'm going to click on new chat. And in this case, I've asked chat GPT, what is a collage and how do you create one? What should you emphasize on and what you shouldn't? And then within seconds, I got this very detailed answer. So I'm not going to read all of it, but I do have some interesting points here that a collage is a piece of art that is made by arranging and sticking various materials, such as photographs, paper, fabric, or other found objects onto a surface, et cetera, et cetera. And I have some interesting points here that I should put emphasis on creative composition and placement of the materials and experiment with different shapes, sizes, and textures. Very well. Let's head over to Midjourney. Now, how do you start with Midjourney? In case you don't know, you can just search for Midjourney under Google, click on the first result that you have and you get here. Don't worry. No evil power is trying to take over your computer. This is just what it looks like. So you can either hit the join the beta or sign in if you're new to Midjourney and it actually sits within Discord. Then once you hit the join the beta, you come here. What you need to do when you start is choose any of these rooms, any newbies room that you want, doesn't matter which number. And then you can see public designs of other users that are using Midjourney. Once you enter a room, you can see public designs of other users and learn from their prompts. See what search words they're using, how they describe, how they search and different types of methods. If you're a first time user, you get 25 searches for free then you'll have to upgrade. And the way to start is just head over to the bottom of your screen. And the first thing you want to do is hit the slash key. Once you hit the slash key, you have to type in imagine and then hit the space key. Then you get this automatic prompt window. You can also just click up here and then you start entering your search or your keywords. You can also use your text from chat GPT, but hold on just a second. I'm just going to show you that Sometimes you can be super specific and add really detailed search words, or you can be very short and simple. For example, if I only search for candy garden, I will get within seconds four results. You will always get four results. And here they are. I did not mention anything about colors or light proportions, styles, characters, only candy garden. Let's understand. All these four photos are numbered. The top left one is number one. Next to it is number two. And at the bottom left three and on the right four. So you have these two letters underneath U one, two, three, four and V one, two, three, four. U stands for upscale. This means when you choose U one, for example, the photo under U one is the image that you select and that will have its resolution increased. So let's just take, for example, U one, click on that and just wait. Then Midjourney journey will create one photo, not four, and this will be upscaled. Now, if you like it, or you want to make more variations of it, you have more options underneath the photo. As you can see, make variations and some more options. I'm not going to dive into that now. On the other hand, if you click on V1, V stands for variation, which means that Midjourney journey will create four more images for the selected image. It will be similar. It will try to maintain the overall style and composition, but it will look slightly different. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. Now I have my remix enabled, which means I can 
add or delete search words. So since I have only Candy Garden, I am going to add a few more search words. Sunny sky, maybe some clouds, and then I'm going to add the aspect ratio. When you want to add an aspect ratio, you need to type hyphen hyphen AR, AR stands for aspect ratio, and then you can choose between 16 by 9, 3 by 2, etc. So I'm just going to choose 3 by 2 and hit the submit key. Now, while my journey is generating my images, you'll see that you also have these two rounded arrows. This means that you can just start all over again and ask my journey to create four new images based on your prompt. And here are my four versions. Now, let's go back to the chat GPT. What I'm going to do is just copy the first phrase and paste it inside my journey. Hit the slash key, type imagine, space and paste the copied text. Wow, look at that. Four versions of my collage search. Now, as you can see, my journey doesn't work very well with text and wording, weird phrases or, or words. So I'm just going to go with this option at the top right side. I really love that one and it has no text. So I'm just going to click that one. I'm just going to check that everything looks reasonable and okay. The only thing I don't like here is something red underneath her eye, but I'll try to fix that in Canva. So I'm just going to right click, copy this image and where, wait, where do I go? Where do I go? Okay. And I'm just going to go back to another example that I want to share with you just before I head over to Canva and I've created a collage, not with chat GPT, but with my own wording just went straight ahead to my journey, hit the slash key, imagine. And then I wrote this collage, flower, woman, face, sketch, bird, cloud, letter, magazine, cover, pin, music, torn paper, no text. And this is what I got. I love this. I even love this more than the first example that I showed you. So now let's go ahead and see how we use this within Canva. So I went over to the editor and you can start with a template. Let's say save the day template and you can just upload your image or you can start from scratch. So let's start from scratch. I'm just going to upload my designs. Here's the first one. And I'm going to see how I can fix her red eye that I really don't like. So let's go to element search for blob. I really love using blobs for so many things. And I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to try and color this, let's say with her skin tone. And I'm going to place it like a patch. Let's see if that works. Twist it a little. Hmm, looks not too bad. Let's zoom out. Okay. I like it. Let's try and color this. Maybe use this reddish pinkish or maybe green. You know what? I love it green. Now, one other thing you can try, maybe instead of the blob, you can search for a flower and maybe place the flower because it's a collage. Everything works with a collage, right? Uh, maybe this flower. Hmm. Not sure that flower was a good idea. Let's try and hide it with some glasses. Okay. These shades look good. Um, not sure it's my favorite one, but it's an option. I can also search for an eye and maybe find a magazine eye or some kind of illustration that I can just place on top of her eye. Hmm, a little creepy. How about this one? Twist it a little bit. Cute. Okay. And also maybe a washi tape, kind of a different patch. Well, anyway, whatever you like, you can try and fix it. Be creative. And now I'm just going to go ahead and upload my second creation. So this one I really love and I can use it the same way. Just attach it to the background or I can use the background remover. If you have a pro account, you can easily remove the background. And look at that excellent work. All the birds and the leaves were not taken out while the background was removed. I love it. So I'm just going to play around with it. Maybe flip it, resize it add some background. So let me know in the comments how you use AI and Canva to create some amazing designs. And just to remind you that if you don't have Canva Pro and you'd like to try it out, I'm happy to give you 45 days for free. A link in the comments below. See you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.